Hi guys, welcome to Carrot Playhouse. We're in the bird room. As you can see, and there's the incredible puppy. We've got Sammy and Quinn, and it's early in the morning. And I thought, how fun would it be and how educational would it be for you guys to see what I prepare for my birds in the morning? What fruits and vegetables I prepare, and they're always usually raw. Hold on, I hear some feet. What's going on? Okay, I think we're okay. I think it was Victoria. So I wanted to see, wanted you guys to see what fresh fruits and vegetables I feed my birds. Now, I also feed them pellets, and they get pellets all throughout the day, but that is another video that I already made, and you'll see the card at the end of this video, and it'll show you what pellets I feed my birds. But today, we're gonna talk about fruits and vegetables, and today, I do have a nasty little injury. I did this at work yesterday. I'm a hairdresser. I cut myself really bad, and there's a bunch of stitches in my finger, which is making the day quite challenging, but we're gonna be okay. My birds do wanna chew it right off, so hopefully I don't lose my finger at the end of the day. But, so let's look and see what I prepared for my birds. So here we go. Everybody is super excited this morning. They want their food, so let's get to it. So this is Victoria's bowl. She loves blueberries. Yes? Do you want a blueberry, Victoria? Let's see. Victoria, do you want a blueberry? She loves blueberries. There she goes. She's eating her blueberry. So she loves, loves, loves her blueberries. Yeah, is that good? Yeah? And then... She also has, we have a little bit of Swiss chard. So the Swiss chard's right here. And that's what it looks like. And it's so good. It's probably one of the more tastier um, greens out of all the leafy greens. I love it. The birds love it. And then I give her carrots. And I'll use the whole carrots, the whole organic carrots. I do not like the baby carrots because they're just basically water and there's not much nutrition. Then she loves her frozen peas so much, so I'll give her a ton of frozen peas. And then she loves her bananas, and then we have her snap peas right there. So I have two different types of peas I'm giving her this morning. And then cilantro, and that is what cilantro looks like. For those of you who may have never seen cilantro, it's really good for your birds. And then I also have fresh corn in there. So I have a little bit of fresh corn in there and it's organic. And then I also have cranberries because tis the season for cranberries. And they're so delicious. They're absolutely delicious. So that is pretty much what I have in there. And it's basically the same what I have in all the other bowls, except I do have the blackberries in some of the other birds' bowls because some of the birds love, love blackberries. And with my kayaks and my more energetic birds, well, my kayaks, I do give them more berries and I do give my other birds because they need, they burn more energy. They're just like lorikeets. They need more little sugar in their diet. So that's what they get. And then my fat birds, like Baby, who's basically like a couch potato, I give him less, but he gets more vegetables. Like he could have as many vegetables as he wants. And so Baby loves Swiss chard. He loves beet tops. He loves broccoli. So that is super, super awesome. So I'm gonna bring this over. Now, some of you are probably going April. Did anybody see where Victoria just went? Victoria? Some people are probably going April. I can't afford to. There she is. Come here. Come on. I can't afford to feed my birds all those extravagant greens and organic stuff. And I only got one and it'll go to waste. Well, you know what I say to that? Do you want this, Victoria? Thank you, Thomas. Oh, look at her grab that banana. Look at her. She loves it. Yeah, that's a good girl. Such a good girl. Okay, so what I say to people that say they can't afford to feed their, good, their birds like organic vegetables and fruits and like what I do, Maui, come over here. I say you can't not to afford to feed them good stuff because at the end of the day, it's gonna cost you. 
It's either gonna cost you at the hospital when they get fatty liver disease or congestive heart failure. Watch Bailey's um, video. You'll see a, a list of all of Bailey's videos. She actually died of congestive heart failure and fatty liver disease because she was fed seed for most of her life until I adopted her. So it's really sad to see a bird die like that. But so what, you, what you could do is you don't need to have all of this. And at the end of the day, you too should be eating healthy. So anything left that your bird doesn't eat, you know, that you don't use up, you should be turning that into a smoothie for yourself. Just get a blender, stick your kale, stick your berries in there, get a little bit of protein powder, and blend it up. Birds live a long time, so you do not want to go before they do. So you need to stick around as well. And then another thing that I suggest is, you, so you don't need all of this. Get one green. If you're on a budget, get maybe two fruits and get something orange for your vitamin A. So like buy some carrots, carrots for a bundle. Like literally, I just bought a pound of carrots for a dollar. No, I got it for 79 cents. So carrots are not expensive, even organic. So get something green and get something orange. So like bell peppers or carrots. You can even do a squash and those are loaded with vitamin A, which will help your bird's immune system and fight off, you know, anything that comes their way. So at the end of the day, it also will help your budget because it'll keep them out of the hospital. And then I also like to do a few fruits. So I'll do or berries. So I'll do what, you know, whatever is in season. If you're on a budget, whatever is on sale. Sorry, my middle finger. I don't know what to do. It's just like, it's just kind of waving everywhere. Sorry guys, it doesn't really bend. But so, you know, if blackberries are in business, you know, in business, if blackberries are in season, get those blackberries. If blueberries are in season, get those blueberries. And then if your bird does not like to eat any of this stuff, then eat it in front of them, you guys. Make a big deal out of it. Like pump up the drama, you know what I'm saying? Like go, oh my God, sorry. Oh my God, this is so good. Like, ah, ah, you know, birds are like, if they see something and they see there's a lot of fun happening, they're gonna want part of the action, right? They're gonna be like, what? And I find that birds that live in a flock like this, it's easier to get them to eat healthy food because they're watching all their flock members. I know in here, if you don't eat your food quick, Quinn over here, will eat it for you. Although he's sleeping right now. So these birds know if they don't get to those bowls and eat their food, like it's gonna get taken in here. It just does, you know? So it's like they eat up, like they will just shovel in the broccoli. So that is super cool, right? Something else that I hear a ton of is my bird will just take a bite of their food and then they drop it, they waste it. And so that means they must not like it. So you guys, these birds are designed to be litter bugs in the wild. In the rainforest, they will take a bite of food and then they'll drop it. That's how they feed all the little creatures at the bottom of the rainforest. So they do the same because it's their instinct. What? Yes. So don't get upset at your birds. Hi, Thomas. Hello, honey. Hello, honey. Hello. Don't get upset at your birds if they take a bite of their food and they drop it and they take another bite of their food and they drop it. They're just doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're being parrots. Yeah? Yeah? Oh. oh my gosh, she is so perfect, you're perfect, oh, I love you so much, oh, birds are like, what is wrong with mom's fingers, what is wrong with mom's fingers, yeah, I love you, this is why it's so hard, getting things done in the morning and getting out of here to work on time because oh because i got these birds oh no don't get the lips i love these birds yeah yeah i love you 
potatoes. Oh. And then the way I wash my fruits and vegetables is I'll get a big bowl and I'll just put them all in there. And then I'll fill it up with water and then I'll put probably about, depending how big the bowl is, like four capfuls of white vinegar and I'll let it soak for a little bit and kind of rub it off. So it helps to clean the vegetables. And if you can't feed organic, if you don't have access to it, I know some people, you know, certain times of year don't have access to certain things, stick whatever it is and just let it soak for a little bit. Get as much of that stuff as you can get off, but always buy blueberries, always buy berries organic because that is not safe. And then always buy apples organic because apples that aren't organic, they have like a plasticky, well not a plasticky, a waxy coating on the outside, which makes them really shiny and pretty. And you don't want your birds eating that nonsense, right? What is he doing? And Casey just said, yeah. So it's easy, you guys. It's super easy. And then also I had frozen vegetables. Well, I had a frozen pea in there. And you know what? If you only have access to frozen, get it. Maybe some of you are out there in the snow. I don't know. And you're like, you know, you do your grocery shopping like once a month, you know, some people do. And you can't get that fresh stuff all the time. You know, it happens. So even if you buy frozen, it's better than nothing, right? And if you can buy frozen organic, it's better than nothing. So at the end of the day, do your best for your birds. It's sorry, that finger is just out of control. Do your best for your birds. And remember, you cannot afford to not feed them healthy food, right? I hear something over here. Okay guys, so everybody has their breakfast now. There goes the finger. And we hope you found this video fun and educational. And we cannot thank you enough for watching our videos. And we hope that you follow us on Facebook, Parrot Playhouse, where we post daily updates of what is going on in the bird room. And there's always something going on in here, right? There's so much drama, bird drama. Yeah, and right now Puffy's enjoying his banana, and he's just wiping it everywhere. Mwah. What? What? Rawr. You gonna roar? Rawr. Rawr. So I'm going to take everybody outside. We're going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye guys.